in this video I want to talk about um, the gallery how to update the gallery um, I haven't made a video about that yet so that's what this will be about and I have received from George an email with um, some images that he wants to put onto the gallery but first I would like to talk about those images what we have here um, are some images that are not very useful for the website I have already emailed him about that and he re returned the email and he gave me some new images to to work with which are those going going back to those images um, the images are no different to what I've received before except that some are not going to be used so what I'm going to do is I've downloaded all those images already here um, I've created another folder called unusable and I'm going to take the images that I won't use and put it in there now just to illustrate what I have if I hold my cursor there you will see I have here an image with dimensions of 320 pixels by 240 pixels this is a really small image it's, um, I'm going to demonstrate exactly how small that is I will just double click on the thing and there you can see how small the image is if you compare that with for instance another picture let me find one that is okay that is also still a small one there is a small one that is all small what about that all these are pretty small images so I'm looking for an image that is large enough there you have an image you can see um, didn't want to click there but if I hover there you can see this is 1632 by 916 so if I double click on that image you will see that the image is quite large it's far bigger than uh, we can use so we need to resize that image to a useful size um, and a useful size for this website would be a maximum of 800 pixels by 600 pixels the height uh, the 600 is not very important what is important is the width which should be 800 pixels so that is what I'm going to do I'm going to illustrate some of that but before I do that I'm just going to remove the small images so you can see that one is 320 by 240 so I will put that oops I will put that into the unusable folder just take it out uh, so they're not in the way um, I don't click properly I will move that one away um, I will move that one away I really just need to um, yes that one drag and drop it um, that one I will take away so I'm what I'm doing is I'm going to select a lot of them together now um, I will hold in my uh, control key and click on the image if I want to select it uh, you can see I've now selected two so I'm um, just lift the, the control key click hold drag and those are the image images that will be used this folder I will move that away that is the folder that came in the second um, um, email uh, I'll just move that away as well just so we've got a, a nice clear view of what can what should be done so there we have the very first image and this is quite a, a, a very large image as you can see it's 2592 by 1936 just to show nicely where I see that just want to move my cursor there so it is a little bit in the box the dimensions as you can see is 2592 by 1936 and you can see the file size is 1.54 megabyte 
uh, you can't upload a file larger than one megabyte in any case um, those large files will load too slowly and it'll just drag the website down anyway so what I need to do is I need to open that file with an editor that I use um, and I use Irfan View. It is a free software, very easy to use, very effective piece of software. Um, and I have used this for many years already. So I'm going to open that file. And you can see that the file is quite large. So it won't be all in the editing area. But as I make it smaller, I've got a setting set on it. Uh, it'll resize the picture to the full size of the window that I use to work in. Anyway, so what I have to do, I just want to put this into the maximum window that I can. Yeah, um, you will notice that that is the size of uh, the image. Uh, it is only showing at 32% of the size now. So what you see physically is only 32% of the original size. It is 1.55 megabytes large. So if you look at this image, you will find that um, these two people must be, um, I would say, the subject of this uh, image where the other people are just uh, sitting there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, just draw a box around them like that, just so that we can have see more of them than of the rest of the picture and at the same time I want to try and keep this into a f sort of a landscape photo shape um, so um, it looks uh, quite nice that way so what I'm going to do is I'm going to crop that so all you will see is what's on the inside of this little block that I've done so I go into image no i go into edit i then crop the selection and that is what you have i've cut down a bit of waste on the sides of it and you can see the faces much easier uh, even so you only see 45 percent of the original image now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take that image um, and i'm going to resize it. If I go into the image um, tab and I go into resize and resample the image, uh, I've got a few presets. I can do it all manually but I've got a few presets and that is really what I'm going to use. I'm going to click on 800 by 600 so you can see that is what the size currently is and this is what's the, the size that it's going to be. Always got to make sure though that your um, that you preserve the aspect ratio or the proportional dimensions of the image, otherwise you will distort it. Um, so all I really now need to do is just say okay, not much else to do, and you can see that this is going to be the physical size of the image. That will be the 100% size of the image, and it is fair enough, I think, for the website. If you really look, the width of this whole window that we're working in is the width of the website, really, or just probably just a little bit more than the proper width of the website. Uh, I just want to minimize that so you can see this is this is really the width of the website. And if you draw the picture in there, you can see that. Um, Putting it on the side, it will cover most of the window. In any case, if you if you would click on it. Next, I will click on File, Save in the original folder, and then I'm just going to. And you can see this is the photo. Photo three in brackets three dot jpeg. That's the photo. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to. Um, not take a lot away all I'm going to do is take the spaces away because um, websites don't really like that and then I'm going to put in a hyphen and just put 800 px px stands for pixels uh, just to be able to identify the picture that I will use 
um, for the gallery. And all I now have to do is now I have to press on save, go get our uh, file, and you can see there's the picture now. And um, if I uh, hover just over it, you will see that the size, the, the very bottom uh, piece of information, the size, file size of this is now reduced from a 1.5 uh, megs to only 301 kilobytes so that is quite a fair um, and it will load quite quickly on the website when you click on it so that image I will be using that one I won't be using so this is how I would illustrate what I will do is I will very quickly take that one and do the exact same with that so I'm going to just open this with my my favorite software, Irfan View. There you can see the picture. I'm just going to reduce it a little bit so it nicely shows in the window uh, where we're working. Um, and you can again see it's quite a large picture. Uh, this is even much Oh no, this this is only 400, uh, 345 kilobytes large, so it's not too bad, but even so, the picture is much too big for the website. If you look at the picture, uh, you will see that there's not much that we can do to improve the um, the image as such. Uh, is no, we, we can't really, we don't really have to um, cut anything, crop anything out of it. So all I'm going to do is with this image, I'm going to um, resize and resample it uh, again to 800 by 600 pixels. It used to be that, it is now that. Click on OK. So all I now need to do is click on Save, save the original, keep the original uh, name, just put in a hyphen 800 pixels so I can identify it later and save it. Right, if we go, I can close that now. And if we look at that, there is the original picture and this is the one that I just did. Right, I'm going to do uh, the rest of them. I will do uh, offline and then I'll make another video to show how I'm going to go about. Now, I'm going to do this as well as um, as well as the potters. I'm going to do the same with the potters, uh, fix all the photographs, get it all ready and then when I am ready to upload it um, onto the website I will make another video to illustrate that. That is all for the video. Um, thanks for watching.